average, something that's reachable. I want something that's unattainable. It looks like so hard to get. You know, but any of you guys can reach that physique too, because it's all in the mind. If the mind can conceive it, you will achieve it, okay? Because normal sucks. I'm a motherfucking bitch! Hey, thanks for stopping back by CBD to check out another new video. This one here was recorded about three days ago in an attempt to do a speed test with the Q500 4K. And anybody who's ever flown one knows that the GPS has to be off to get the ultimate speed. You'll see right there that the Q flipped to the left. I had thought it had flipped all the way around. And I'm not sure why it does that. It's been doing that more and more lately. It just doesn't like certain positions in the sky. But I thought it was facing me, and I start giving it a command to come back to me, and it's just flying further away. At this point, I can't figure out which way I'm facing. You'll see me start and stop and start and stop, uh, because I'm trying to figure out which way it is facing, and it just keeps getting further away. And I'm starting to panic at this point, so I thought I would gain a little altitude to give me a little bit of time to figure out which way I'm going. So you'll see me start to climb right here. Now I knew that creek was back there, but I for totally forgot about that pond. It had been many years since I'd been back there on foot. So I am so glad I didn't start to put it down right then. But at this point, it's out of sight. I can't see it, it goes behind my neighbor's property and I can no longer see the queue. So I'm not gonna take a chance. I start to put it down right there. And for anybody who's ever flown one of these, they know that the cue doesn't go straight down when you hold down. It always does that bouncy thing in midair to where it goes down, it'll bounce up, and then it'll go down a little softer next time. And that's exactly what it did. Honestly, I thought with the GPS off, it wouldn't do that. I thought that when I put it down, it was toast. I, I figured I'd find it in a million pieces back there. It took me about an hour and a half to find the damn thing, but once I did, I was surprised to see that I'd only broke both B-props, which is really odd. Uh, but only the B-props were, were busted. The A-props were completely fine. And I brought it back, uh, put a couple new props on it, tightened everything up, cleaned off the dirt, and I took it back out to fly again. Now, with as much time as I've put into flying a Q, uh, one thing I wasn't aware of is that you could not turn the GPS back on while in mid-flight. But it makes sense uh, because we all know how long it takes for satellites to connect. And a lot can happen in that time, case in point. But one thing I would like to know is if anybody has ever had that problem with the queue flipping around uh, like it shows in this video so sometimes I'll be facing a certain direction and I'll give it a command to go to the left to do like a 180 for example and it'll get about halfway there and it'll kick all the way around to the right to get to that 180 point it's almost like it doesn't like going that way at that time it's not always to the left or to the right when it does that it just happens randomly Again, I'll be trying to do a 180 uh, with the left toggle, and it'll get about halfway around, and it'll say, nope, and kick around, and come back around to that 180 position, but it seems like it has to go the other way. I'm not sure why it does that. If any of you know why, uh, comment below. I'm very curious to know if I've got something going out on my queue. Um, I'm thinking bad compass module. But again, I, I don't know a lot about it. My Q500 is doing just as well as it was before the crash. As you'll see at the end of this video, I decided to take it out and do a bit of aerial photography. Uh, and it's working great. 
Hopefully you'll stop back by in the near future to check out some more videos. If you like what you've seen today, please comment, like, and subscribe as usual. I really appreciate that. Check out these pictures I took uh, right after the crash. And until I see you next time.